people. So uh, how, how should we progress as a nation from where we are? Because we cannot also turn our backs on ECOWAS, can we? Well, uh, good morning to you once again. Good morning to your cherished viewers. I, I, <clears throat> ECOWAX, for since its inception, hasn't done very well in terms of uh, how they exercise their powers. Mm. They have been, over the years, you know, over the years, they have been so hypocritical mm -hmm. in terms of decision taking. And that is the reason why many African countries do not have confidence in ECOWAX, particularly the leadership. You see, we cannot be selective in applying the rules. Mm -hmm. We can't be selective. Mm. Some of these coup d'etats have happened in other countries that ECOWAX could not take any firm decision, mm. let alone to talk of sending a military truce or a standby military. So for me, it is the bane of the issue. If you want to be selective in the application of rules, when it suits you, you want to, you say no, the rules should not apply. When it go against you, then you want the rules to be applied. That is the problem that we have in, in ECOWORKS. So for me, I believe strongly that, yes, Nigeria, President Tinubu is the chairman of ECOWORKS now. Yeah. Nigeria itself has not obeyed ECOWAS rules. Uh, uh, what is that? ECOWAS has come out with decisions that Nigeria has flouted many times. Really? You remember, even when they closed their borders, ECOWAS okay. met and called on them to open. They said they won't open. So that is how they are. So hypocritical. You understand? Mm. Some of the coup d'etats that has happened, they were justified by the same ECOWAS. ECOWAS justified some of those coup d'etats. Like what, the Mali, which, the which Mali coup the Burkina Faso one, and even the Guinea one. ECOWAS just... Yeah, they justify it. What did they do? ECOWAS, uh, you know... What did they do? They gave an instruction first, uh -huh. for example. What did they do? Did they, send, and then, did they do? No, no. Did they send military staff? You remember down? that they, they, they gave uh, sanctions, and then they, 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 they overturned yeah. the, the sanctions. I'm sure because of, you know, that sort of negotiation that, that took know, place. So that is what I'm saying. So in this case, in the case of Niger, okay, mm. many people are of the opinion that do not send a military standby. Use diplomacy. Okay. Use negotiation. Okay. Don't go with a force. If you enter Niger, mm. you are going to destroy the country. Okay. Like we've seen other countries being destroyed.